Two years ago, I came home from a life-changing, character-building, love-finding, adventurous and exciting four-month trip to a full house. My auntie and uncle had moved in as they had both been diagnosed with cancer. My family and I nursed them and we watched them suffer until they went months later. A year down the track and I'm off again. Being away, there was more to miss, both my family and my partner. After the first two months and a lot of tears, I got used to it. In each country that I went to, I had new places to experience, new friends to meet, and new flavours to be tasted. My time overseas was transforming into a jigsaw puzzle of unforgettable memories. Exciting and brilliant. It was vibrant being away, and the creative expression that I was experiencing felt nothing like what I have at home. My passion was growing with intensity in these distant lands, and it could be translated in the people and places that I was surrounded by. A couple of weeks before leaving, it was slowly winding down and I hear news that mum has found a tumour in her stomach. It's over. It's my fault. Deja vu. Why did I have to go away again? These thoughts all repeated through my mind over and over. Then it was time to go home and face it all again. The commonalities between us all is that we live and we die, we gain and we lose, we triumph and we fail. My future and place in the world might not be written, but I cannot be reluctant to explore it. Perhaps my interpretation of home needs to be readjusted, and my story, well, who knows.